In this video, I will walk you through how to get started with MATLAB for absolute beginners. First of all, we'll briefly talk about what is a MATLAB, getting started, followed by arithmetic operations. You can also see timestamp for each topic, and please feel free to skip around to learn what you need. Let's get started. MATLAB is an abbreviation of matrix laboratory, and it is an interactive software for numerical computations and graphics. As the name suggests, MATLAB is especially designed for matrix computations, including solving systems of linear equations, factoring matrices, etc. MATLAB is a script-based computer programming language. It means you don't need to compile your computer code to run, so this is one of the biggest advantages over C, C++, Fortran, other programming languages which require code compilation. This makes your programming job very easy. It has numerous built-in functions and various plotting capabilities. Also, it allows for developing user-defined functions so you can develop your own functions. When you open MATLAB, you can see the main MATLAB window like this. It could be a little bit different from yours depending on MATLAB version that you have, but I think it is more or less similar. In my screen, I have six sub-windows. In the center area, we have a script editor on top and command windows at bottom. On the left side, there are file browser and details. On the right side, we have workspace. If you have a different window layout, go to Home tab, followed by Layout, and click Default setting. You can adjust the window size by changing the borderline between sub-windows. When you move your mouse point to the border, you can see the vertical bar with two arrow-shaped mouse point, and it is ready to change your sub-window size. You can close any sub-window if not needed. In the command window, you can find two larger than arrows in a row, which we call command prompt. It follows a blinking cursor, and it means it is ready to take your input. Let's start it with a basic calculation. To calculate 2 plus 3, I'm typing 2 plus sine 3 followed by hitting Enter key. It does not execute until you hit the Enter key, so make sure that you hit the Enter. In MATLAB, the most recent result is automatically saved in a variable ANS. ANS stands for Answer. The most recent result can be shown by typing ANS. You can also type 2 star 3 to multiply 2 by 3 to C6 as a result. Again, it is automatically saved in the variable ANS. Remember, we have numeric number 5 in the ANS previously, but the variable ANS is replaced with the new result 6. You can calculate cosine 0 by typing COS parenthesis with 0, and you can get 1 as expected. You can type CLC to clear the command window. You can use home as an alternative. To find detailed information of given built-in function, you can use help followed by the built-in function name. For example, if you want to learn more about cosine function, type help space COS. You can see the functionality and syntax in the Tetra. You can also see a list of relevant functions that you may be interested in learning. If you do not know the exact function name and want to search it based on the keyword, you can also use loop for as a single word followed by the keyword either as a part of built-in function name or built-in function description. For example, if you want to search all the built-in functions having COS as a keyword, type COS. You can see the entire list. For example, it shows ACOS, which is a function to calculate inverse cosine in radians. You may want to try with different keywords. MATLAB also supports basic arithmetic operators. In this table, A and B are the variables or numbers, an arithmetic operator can be used between two variables or numbers. For addition, we use a plus sign. For subtraction, minus sign. 
For multiplication, we use a star sign. For exponentiation, we use a caret if you want to calculate a to the power of b. The caret is given in the above numeric number 6 in the keyboard. To calculate 2 minus 3, you can simply type 2 minus sign followed by 3 to see minus 1 as a result. To calculate 2 multiplied by 3 and add 1, you can use 2 star sign 3 plus 1 to have 7. If you want to calculate 2 multiplied by 3 plus 1 as a whole, you can use parentheses to have 8. To calculate 2 power of 3, you can use 2 carat 3 to have 8. To calculate 3 divided by 2, 3 slash 2, so that you can have 1.5. Thanks for watching this video until the end, and please subscribe my channel if you want to continue to watch tutorial videos in science, technology, engineering, and math. Please give thumbs up if you enjoyed. Please feel free to share your thoughts in comment section down below. See you next time.